In the previous video, we derived gradient descent mathematically. If you haven't watched that, I'd highly recommend watching it. I know it's like 20 minutes long, but it explains everything in depth that you need to know for this video. And so we're going to use all that math and then implement it in Python, specifically in this notebook. So specifically with linear regression to model this uh, plot right here, this data right here. And so the things we want to optimize in this application are our m, which is the slope of the line, and b, the y-intercept of the line right here. And so we're going to put them in a theta vector right here. And you can see all the math right here. We derived this equation in the last video. So we're going to actually implement that equation in this for loop right here. And we're going to iterate this equation 500 times. So it's going to automatically optimize the m and b at every step. And we use the gradient to make sure that we're not optimizing m, then optimizing b, then op we're optimizing it all at once for each step, which gives us the fastest runtime. And so as a result, we get a slope of 3.02 and a y-intercept of 3.769. And if we graph our trained model right here, this is what it looks like. And I would say it, it predicts the, it's a really good line of best fit. I mean, you could also go into the uh, correlation coefficient means greater and all that, but for now, this is a pretty good line. However, what's even more interesting is that in machine learning, we always have a way to measure how our model learns, so how our machine learns. And the way it measures is through this loss curve right here. What this is saying is that the gradient is initially negative here, so it's the loss over our 500 steps that we iterated the algorithm for. So it's saying is that it's going from negative to zero, so it converges to zero. So what it means is it's, the negative means it's stepping downhill on our, if you think about our cost itself, it's stepping downhill down to the lowest loss, to the lowest cost, and it converges to zero. And if we actually graph the surface or the 3D visualization of our cost function where the cost is the z-axis and the slope m and b are x and y axes, you get a surface right here. And I promise this is not a plane, this is not linear. I'll prove it to you in just a sec, but essentially we have our m and our b and we're stepping kind of downhill so that the cost is lower. And so in the last video I also showed the gradient can also be a gradient field. So if you essentially on the xy plane for this graph right here, if you think about the xy plane for m and b on this 3D graph right here, the 2D version is then going to be a bunch of vectors that point in the direction of steepest, well in this case it's steepest descent, it's normally steepest ascent, but it's actually a negative gradient right here. But these vectors essentially tell us, tell our optimization function which way to point. So at if we start with 0, 0, we, didn't, we initialized our m and b randomly, but if we want to start with 0, 0, then this, I guess, this vector right here, one of these vectors is telling us to go in the positive b direction and the negative m direction to have the least cost. So at 0, the, the zeros here on this graph are a little weird because I wanted to visualize it nice, but it's like kind of right here. So right here, it's telling us to go to a negative m but a positive b. So it's kind of pointing this to the, it's kind of pointing to the left corner of the screen, if you will, as that's how it's going to get to the lowest, you know, lowest cost. But yeah, <clears throat> that's the video. If you enjoyed it, I'll link the notebook in the description below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Watch the previous video if you haven't and yeah, stay tuned.